Welcome to the Madana channel. Madana is a small piece of land in Chezadombochal, a communal area. On this channel, we'll be sharing with you uh, farming tips for smallholder farmers. In this particular video, we're joined by Alan Norton, our colleague, who's an agricultural engineer, who will be showing us how to place maize in Fumvudza holes. If you don't know about Fumvudza, Fumvudza is a smart climate farming technique which has been rolled out all over Zimbabwe and we are going to try it this season. Thank you. And along here is plant population. How many plants per hectare is a unit? So normally we are aiming for about 40,000 plants per hectare but it depends on the variety of seed. This um, pack is set up for about 40,000 per hectare. Basically what happens, this side is yield. If you plant zero pips, you get zero yield. If you plant 10,000 per hectare, you'll get somewhere here yield. Maybe one ton or half a ton. If you plant 20,000, you'll get maybe double. 30,000, maybe treble. 40,000 is about here, you should be able to get 6, 8, even 10 tons per hectare. But what happens, this is all the time as you increase the population, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. After 40,000, you know what happens? Anything. The graph is down. Your yield starts to drop. So now you go to 50,000 plants, and instead of a potential of six or eight thousand, you've only got four or five thousand. So it's a fallacy to leave more plants on the land. And I can tell you, as somebody who has traveled to nearly every single communal land in Zimbabwe, the number one reason why yields are down is because the plant population is down. I would say when I go in, around the communal areas, the population on average is only 60% of recommended, which means you can only achieve 60% of potential harvest. So, take it from us when we say aim for 40,000, that is the optimum yield you'll get. Don't play funny games. So, the other thing that we do. Uh, or maybe before that. So we've now fertilized our holes and maybe some rain comes. Maybe it's very light rain, but there's enough to make the ground moist and you feel confident to plant. But because the rain is very light, a little bit of soil has washed in. A little bit, like that. Now you come along to plant. What is the problem? if I put that seed in there. What is the problem now? Okay. I think they, 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 they should be close down. Are we supposed to look up? Any good? Simon, you know. Put your maize, maize. That is, after the rain only a little bit of soil came so i put my seeds in there i'm saying what is the problem well if, if you put a little bit of soil yeah all right uh if, if you put a, a little bit of soil the challenge might be soil keeping because the rain if, if the rains come there it covers the hole with with water the soil the seed will get rot rotten or else the problem might be because here there's two, here there's three, might be the plant population is low. Because yeah. the germination here there may be one germinate, maybe here two, so you might have the problem of germination as well. So we'll come those are all good answers. But the one I'm looking for is fertilizer is a chemical. 
you can try it. Put some water on your arm, put some, some fertilizer and leave it there. You're going to have a problem. It's the same with the seed. If you put the seed there and it's catching, the fertilizer is going to burn. It won't germinate. It will start to germinate, but it will, it won't, it'll die. So the first thing to do, if there's only a little bit of soil, is you have to put some more soil just to make sure there's no um, contact between the seed and the fertilizer. Also, this is too deep. If you put seed deep down like that and then cover with soil, the depth, the maximum depth of maize seed should be one matchbox. That much. If you put it too deep, it's going to struggle to get out. If you put it too shallow, the soil it can dry out or you can get capping. And then it will also have a, a battle. So aim for the length of matchbox. Alright, so you've put a, we've put a bit of soil in, like that. The next thing is, most people I have seen planting do this. Yeah, is it day? Hey. Yeah. There's no attention <laughs> to add that seed. And what might happen is, you've now picked this, the seed is sitting underneath there and it comes up and it hits this thing. Now now the sun comes out, it bakes that, it's hard like a brick. Pushes, 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 dies. Hasn't got enough energy. So the objective with planting is to get the seed in the soil and get maximum soil to seed contact all around here. You want soil so that the moisture coming through the soil has many places to be touching the seed and to get through, through the seed and to cause germination. If I planted that like that, it's very unlikely to grow because it's going to dry out fast and it's not even got half of the seed is touching soil. So there's not enough soil to seed contact to allow moisture to get in. So we want to get the, that excellent soil to seed con contact in there. So like that, I would just break that. And we plant three seeds. And you see that I'm placing them and not just dropping them. I'm giving a little bit of space so they're not competing too much. You may think what a waste of time. It would take forever. Where's my sadza? But this detail is the difference between 10 tons and maybe 5 tons. So it's worth it to spend a little bit more effort. Then to cover, um, it's wiser to use a badza and just cover nicely with loose soil. Like that is a problem. That's probably a matchbox step now. So, same here. Nice loose soil on there, and you should get maximum soil to need contact. There we go. Now, we remember my graph, we want 40,000 plants per hectare. By planting three, we are planting 60,000 plants per hectare. We want to bring it back to 40,000 plants per hectare. Why do you think we waste time and waste money putting three seeds? In case one doesn't germinate. What's your answer? Oh, are you saying the same? Mm -hmm. Alright, good. Be, uh, thinner than the other one. Yes. Very good. Alright. So let's say four, three, come up. Over here. 
we get two. Then over here, let's say we only get one. Then in the next hole, I've dug a hole here. So, we want on average two plants per station. So if you're coming along like here, this is now at about 10 days. The plants are 10 days after planting. The plants are probably about this big, somewhere around here. You come along and you look here, you see three, it's good. You look ahead, you see it's two, it's fine. I need two here. I look for the weakest one, maybe that one. Should I go and transplant this? No. It's a waste of time. Complete waste of time. It's a weed. Go do it. So I come along, I come two. I look ahead, I see only one. one. Now I've got a problem. I've got average two, two, only one. I look ahead, I see three. I leave three. So those compensate. I've still got on average two, four, six, eight. So that, that is the secret. So the temptation, you've got three, 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 two, one, to leave all is your problem on the ground. You're wasting time. You want a big strong maize plant to come up, not three weaklings. You want two strong ones, big cobs rather than three weak ones. Good. And then you'll see on the instructions there, there's there's a uh, chemical, and I'm not sure that, I think that one you put at the time of mm -hmm. thinning and top dressing. So when you do this, then you should also do your top dressing. And the instruction is on the brochure. I think it's number eight cup at top dressing now when it's small. And that's because it gives it energy to really grow fast, providing there's moisture. And then you do a second top dress with the small cup, number five. Just when you first see the first tassels coming, you put that in the second top dress. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure you found it very insightful like I did. We will be coming back with more content to make you a pro smallholder farmer. Thanks.